Yeah, you know what? Um, I like the start of the game. I thought that uh, we had some energy and then we gave it back in the back half of the first. But, uh, you know, second still seemed to be a sore point for us. You know, we didn't have a lot of shots in the first 10 minutes. Uh, that's a product of not winning faceoffs in the D zone, not starting with the puck. Uh, it's tough to get shots when you don't have the puck. And, uh, you know, it's an area we, we've talked about before we got to get better at. And then third, you know, we try throwing everything at him and obviously get it at 2-2. But the uh, uh, breakdown we had on the, the third goal against, we had full possession of the puck, which we expected it to get out. It's very, it's very uncharacteristic of the team to have to be out shot consistently in that second period. I mean, is it something that the teams are doing differently to you guys? Or? You should ask those guys. They're in the room. Ask them. When, uh, in the end of the second period, um, uh, you got the two power play opportunities, and, you, and right before that, the shift was real strong around the net. It just seemed like it, that gave you a, a chance to, to at least feel some offensive flow when you guys, I thought, maybe took advantage of it. There. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we had some zone time with it. Uh, you know, did we get the number of quality chances? Yes, no. Um, you know, the one unit did, the other unit didn't. And, uh, you know, we're... We're make, taking shots on the back end, missing the net over top. Well, who, who wants to stand in front of the net if our defensemen are shooting them head high? <laughs> right. So, you know, there's little things like that that, uh, you know, get the puck to the net where the goalie has to make a save or there's a rebound. And, uh, you know, we, we got some guys that uh, aren't playing very well right now, plain and simple. And it, it, it's from top down to the bottom. And, uh, you know, I said it the other night, it's, it's not a quick fix. You got to work your way out of it. You play bad, you get bad results. I know you're in a funk here offensively, but I, if you look at the scoreboard, I mean, you're not too far off here because, I mean, uh, the, the scores have been relatively close. Yeah, but, I mean, you're playing, you're playing a team that's playing three games in two and a half days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we can't wear them down by the third period and play with the lead. Uh, you know, those are areas of concern for me. What can you say about Calvin's job in net tonight? He saw quite a bit of action. Like you said, the extended zone time in your defensive zone. What can you say about his Well, I mean, he's, he's seen a lot of rubber lately. I mean, he's, you know, we're getting outshocked consistently, outchanced. And, uh, you know, he's a guy that's kept us in there. And, you know, that's, that's what he does. Do you think going on the road maybe can be like a like medicine for the illness of not being able to win these games? I'm sure the fans want to see us get on the road because we, have, we, we haven't given them anything to cheer about here, which is sad, but, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. It's where we're at. Uh, we got to, you know, I just probably sound like a broken record, but we got to regroup. We got we to gotta get out on the road. We got to, you know, find a way to win those one-goal games. We've had a number of one-goal games where we're on the wrong side of. And, uh, you know, that's learning how to win. And it's, it's a process to do that. And we had it early, but we also lost a lot of one-goal games early too, but our, our record was better. So moving forward, it's an area that we got to continue to work at. The problem with being outshot consistently in games is something that you see in the parent organization too, that I've learned have had that problem over the past couple of seasons. Is there any correlation between that? Uh, it's not it's not a system thing uh, right now we're weak down the middle the center ice position in the sense of winning face-offs so when you're always chasing you never start with the puck uh, you know start of the year we had Ben Street we had Marc-Andre Cliche uh, two of the best center icemen probably in the league for face-offs and you started with the puck a lot and uh, you know now we got uh, uh, Colin Smith, who's moved back into the middle this year, where last year he played right wing. We got Joey Hishon, who's played center. We got Sam Henley, who's working at it. Trevor Cheeks, a winger that also plays center. So, you know, they're working at it, but it's, it's not, uh, right now, it's not good enough. And uh, you go past the center iceman, and, you know, guys got to help out on the faceoffs. When they're those half, you know, not one, not lost, they're in the scrum. That's where the three, four other guys got to help out. And, uh, you know, we're not doing a good enough job of that, and we are losing some cleans. So, you know, it's a, it's a combination of, of that, and that's why we spend extended time in our zone.